I call it windows. Right. I've done talks about it based on the idea of, of, of it being windows and every part of our life is a window. That opens for a moment and then closes. Right. Our life is a series of windows. Each one opening for a short period of time and then closing. And the next window, how big it is how fruitful it is, how successful it is, how good that window feels is based upon what you did in this window. And so oftentimes we have pain and suffer and, and sadness because we know we did not do what was necessary before this window closed on us. Right? We didn't study enough. Right? We didn't train enough. We didn't eat right. We didn't, we didn't focus right. And we sacrificed a little bit, but not enough to make sure that when this window closes and all windows close to make sure that when this window closes, we've done all that we can do in this window to get ready for the next one. I'm always asked, why don't you feel bad about not playing in the NFL? I maximized my window. I was, a, I was a, a pretty good high school football player. I was a better college football player. I wasn't good enough to be in the NFL, but I maximized my window. So when it closed, I was okay with it. Right? Some of you guys might know, I went on to get a master's degree and became a chief financial officer in business and was doing that for 10 years. And when that window closed at my discretion, I was okay with it. I had given of myself all that I had to give in that window to prepare myself for the next window. And like a great warrior, when my time came to move on, I just laid my sword on the ground and moved on. So I want you guys who feel that sadness, who feel that, that sense of loss after you lose, I want you to embrace that. I want you to honor that. That's part of what it means to be great. Everybody can't feel that. Right? Your fellow students who just go to school, they don't feel that. And yes, yeah, sometimes I wish they could feel that, but they also don't feel the other stuff. They don't feel what it feels to hit a three-pointer. They don't feel what it feels to get a winning touchdown. They don't feel that either. And I would rather you feel those things at the risk of feeling pain than to go through life like this on neutral. I want you to feel this stuff. I want you to feel the highs of life. Promotions, right? Getting married to a woman or a man you love. I want you to feel the highs, but with that comes the risk of the lows. I want you to accept that. I want you to, I want you to honor it.